So I'm going to show you five tips and tricks to help you get cleaner cuts and engravings and to keep your machine in top shape. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, there's something here for everyone. So stick around because there might be something you don't know. So let's start with Air Assist. Maybe you're using a small Halia fish pump pump, such as one of these. Or even a different style, such as one of these. I mean, they work fine. But upgrading to something a little larger, such as the Halia ACO 500, makes a big difference. I mean, you could go all the way up to a full-size air compressor, but for most people, that's just overkill. Another easy upgrade to go along with the larger air compressor would be to use a larger diameter air tube, which helps to get the air to the nozzle easier. Next up, we're going to talk about masking tape. Since we were talking air assist, a quick and almost free upgrade is masking tape, or paper tape. Now, this isn't for covering your material before engraving, although you can do that, and that will reduce scorch marks, but this is actually for covering the nozzle on your laser machine. Let me explain. So, on your laser machine, if you take the nozzle off and have a look, what you'll see, you've got a big hole opening where the air comes out. What we can do is cover that with masking tape, And once we've done that, we'll pulse the laser. Then, when we have a look at the nozzle again, what we'll see is we have a very small hole exactly where the laser beam comes out. This creates a tighter, more focused airflow right at the material's surface, exactly where we need it. And it helps it keep it cleaner while cutting and engraving. You'll notice sharper details and less scorching. So next up is extraction. Basically, the faster you can pull the smoke out of the machine, the cleaner your machine and material will stay. It also helps to protect your mirrors and your lens. And this is especially important for smaller enclosed machines, where the smoke can build up really quickly. So, upgrading from a small internal fan, which you might have, such as one of these, to something larger as an inline fan, like one of these, or even a snail fan, such as one of these, can make a big difference. And while we're on about extraction, we can't forget about the vents. They're easy to overlook, but if they clog, airflow drops, which leads to more smoke inside your machine, which would dirty up your mirrors and your lens, and could reduce the laser power too. It could also cause hot spots and cracks on the lens, so a visual inspection once a week of the vents inside your machine and in your extractor keeps everything running smoothly. And that brings us on to the mirrors and the lens. I like to give them a quick visual check and clean every day before I start work. This helps to keep your laser running at full power and also extends the life of those parts. Now I've been using the same mirror and lens in this machine for over eight years and they're still like new. And that's simply because I've given them a quick clean every day before I started work. A little IPA works great for cleaning and it's inexpensive. You can pick up a litre for about £10, $10 on Amazon or similar sites. And it'll literally last years. So if you follow these five tips and tricks, you'll get cleaner cuts, sharper engravings and a laser that will last for years.